Hi guys, this is Vetrivial. This tutorial I will teach how to uh, get your data from database to combo box. Okay, now I will create one combo box here. Just I am track it. So to better viewing, I am changing the font size to big, uh, like 12 or uh, 16. Okay, and I am okay. That's it and ok after that I am using one button so here I am changing uh, from which loop I am using to get a data so I am using for each so that's why for each so just enter here ok for each okay now I am double click here so I need to create one database so I am going to SQL server here and here just I am click connect to database otherwise I have the one database name called student here is that so I am opening the student and go to the tables in the tables I am go to student info table and just I click show data so uh, in this table I have some de uh, details so this is student name with three Ganesh, Mani, Ramesh, Gani. so I need to uh, populate these items into combo box okay in runtime this is the important in runtime okay so okay I am just writing here using system dot sql client so sql system dot data dot dot sql client after that i'm just going to the database here and right click go to properties here data connection is there connection string just and copy the connection string and sql connection con any name here i think the con you have to put any name here and new sql connection in the connection i will put my copy just control v here that's it okay after that I am going to uh, using SQL data adapter SQL data adapter SDA equal to new SQL data adapter here I, I am writing the query so which query I am here writing so just I am going to the database right click new query here I am selecting uh, student info table I need only student name so I am tick the student name and a right click and execute so we get the result like that ok so this is our code just I copy this code control copy and close here I am inside double code and paste here control v. so here change to two line uh, two line to one line So some error will be happening because here I am using connection but I am getting call here that's why the error because SQL data adapter is two parameter I am passing only one parameter here so I am passing another parameter another parameter is C O N ok so we get him now so uh, you have to remember that one more thing C O N dot open you have to use it in generally because you didn't I am here I am not using because using SQL data adapter then you no need to mention open and close or close because SQL data adapter uh, automatically open the connection and automatically close the connection okay so you no need to worry about that okay 
now I am creating one data table because uh, I am getting the uh, data uh, into uh, sorry I am filling the data into data table then only I can use use it okay that's why I am creating data table dt equal to new data table here sda dot fill I am filling the data to dt okay here you need you want then you have to use the SQL data set also here I am using data table okay uh, just after that uh, I have to run this code in debug mode then only have to see the how is the query is working okay just I am click run the button here sorry this is previous example so I am going to program here load combo this is my form name just I am running the form so I am getting okay I am click the button so it directly go to debug mode here my connection is connections here table name is and database name is student and data source is local okay so and server name is virtual iPhone PC this is okay I am just one more thing press F10 is go to the query next line so now you have to go to SDA in SDA you have to see the select command here so this is our command okay now I am going to next line press F10 so I am declare data table but data table is null just go to here data table data table is null here nothing is there so I am going to next line function F10 here I am going SDA to fill to data table here going to here, click here so you getting the data split tree uh, Ganesh, Mani, Ramesh, Ganesh. So we successfully getting the data into data table. Now we need to fill the data into uh, combo box. Okay. So that's why I'm using here for each loop. So first I'm clearing the previous items in uh, any uh, there in uh, combo box. Then uh, we need to clear the previous item. That's why I am using combo box one dot items items dot clear. Okay, so previous item is any there uh, inside the combo box. Uh, anything is there, then it will be clear. So now I am using for each loop for each. So I am giving on shortcut also. You no need to write the for each query. Go to insert sufficient here visual C sharp here for each then it will be automatically create the syntax for you here you have to change the variables and the variable names so here I am using data row because I am getting the data table to convert the data row is item here collection uh, dt so dt dot rows so and uh, here data table dt is there so inside a data table dt so I am looping one by one row so that's why I am using data row. So here uh, combo box one dot items dot add here I am just writing uh, uh, item sorry item zero to string so just control s I am taking removing the debug mode and run one second so here nothing is there now once I click the button you can see the trivial can is everything is you have okay 
Now I am using other type of loops also. I am getting the same things. Okay. This is for each. Huh? So I am using another variables. Control C. Here using for. For loop. Okay. So double click. Just I am copying this much. Control C and Control V. After that, I am writing for. So, same thing I am using. Insert sufficient. Sorry. For. It's okay. Here, i equal to 0, length equal to length. So, here, length is there. Okay. Here, count equal to plus. Okay. Here, I am using dt dot rows dot count here combo box one dot items dot add here dt Rows so row index occur row zero this equal to zero and data column index also zero to string so we get only one items I think so so just run for each loop so we get only one item so that's why you have to change the row value so I'm just go to change the row value to I here now I'm just run the query so click for each loop we get everything okay I am using right now while properties and while while loop is here and double click while loop and one more thing and I need to paste here this much I'm just copy and control V and I'm using while loop condition condition here I am writing condition true then it's work so I need to declare uh, like uh, how much loop is running okay so just saying declare uh, int i equal to zero okay I am initializing the i value here i less than dt dot rows dot count here I am, I am setting i equal to i plus 1 here I am writing this code to control C control V here um, I think it's right just control C and run here nothing is there so just click the while loop so we get the everything so I am I am three type of loops I am getting the data into uh, SQL server uh, SQL server now okay okay guys we will meet our next tutorial bye see you later